Hello and welcome to Coastal Living Down Under Australia. Today we're going to be doing our Kerasoi 4120 moulds that will have two tones and be 3D in effect. Hope you like it. Here we are. Hashtag Coastal Living Down Under Australia. Feel free to use this hashtag and we hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. our Kerasoi 4120 and we've got our um, molds here I've done a little bit of green up here just so we get that effect but what we're going to do is we're going to because we're doing so many different types of fruit and they're all different colors uh, I'm going to pour the wax in first and then once the wax has been poured in then I'm going to color them by putting drops and stirring basically so I'm just going to pour these in now now you might get some spillage, so it's always best to have it angled so that anything that spills goes back into the other moulds. Just bit by bit. Ooh. Okay, now we're doing the pineapple. Now I may have put a little bit too much in, so always have some spares. So I'm just going to ask Olivia if she wouldn't mind grabbing the spares that are over there, sweetheart. Can you grab the spares? Okay, mommy. Now I always try and fill these a little bit higher so they're not overflowing, but so that they're almost overflowing. We just had a little bit of a spillage, but that's okay. All right, so we we'll just fill in. Now I'm not going to be able to do this on camera. So I'm just going to use the leftovers to fill in the others. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the color in and give it a good stir so we get colored fruit. Now we're just stirring in the color. And as you can see, it's set fairly quickly because it's quite a cold day here today. Uh, so if this happens to you when you're stirring in the colors, just stick it in the oven. Uh, put it on 40, sorry, 400 degrees Fahrenheit just for a couple of minutes and that will melt down the wax again so that you can get a better coverage of the colour. Make sure you stir it good and well so that when the two tones come out, you still get some colour rather than just all white. You don't want the colour to mix in completely. You still want some of the white to come through, but you also don't want the whole front of the mould to be just white. So you do really need to give it a good a good mix around with the skewer or the wooden stick or whatever you're using. Um, so put them in the oven if that's what's happened, which is what I'm going to do behind the scenes now. And then we're going to... So they've set now. And we're just going to pop one of them out. Do the pineapple because this is the one. And it's a beautiful pineapple. Now this one has got a bit of white in the front. So let's have a look and see what other pineapples come out like. That one looks super cool. Let's try this one down here at the bottom. That one's a little bit green, a little bit ripe, that one. So we'll pop them all out and we'll see which one is the best. We'll just break off the edges if there's any overflow. And this last one here. Okay. So I think... My favourite one out of all of these is this last one that we popped out. So we're just going to put this one into the uh, candle over here because we've got mint and pineapple. This is going to be the pineapple visual element because we have the green colour for the mint. Uh, and now all you need to do is just decide where you want to place the pineapple. So for instance, for me, I want it to sit propped up on the side and I wanted, I've picked the very front that I like. Uh, and I also am lucky because the wick is also facing the right direction. So all we do, use your lighter, just give the wax on top a bit of a melt. And then we just want to place this in like so. And the reason we're doing that is we don't want to get it jostled around and then have that part fall out and get damaged. So now we're just going to pop out these moulds. So we've done the pineapples. Here's the pineapple. These are the grapes. So they look pretty cool too. And the way, when I use this technique that I used, you get uh, a different 
effect because you get the white mixed in and it, none of them will come out identical. They'll all be just a little bit different. For instance, that one there has got a lot of white mixed in, as does that one. And that one's got the most. But they come out super cool, I think. I prefer them just to the plain solid one color. Same with the bananas, you'll see here. The bananas come out with white mixed in too, and it just gives it a bit more of a three-dimensional. See there? Looks more lifelike, because let's face it, our fruit doesn't come all the same. It's not all yellow. There's bits of different colours in them. And this is our second last banana. And here we go, our last one right down the bottom here. So they're all our bananas. Now I haven't scented them because I did them all in one batch. This is our peach. So we've got three peaches to pop out. And our final one here. So that's it there. So what I did with these, because the wax set super quick and I didn't get a chance to mix in all the colors, I just stuck it back in the oven and I was only in there for about a minute on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's our beautiful strawberry. And that way it melted down so I could then stir in the colors. There's our other strawberry and our last one to pop out of our fruit, I think is my favorite out of all of them, this beautiful strawberry here. Okay, and then we just pack them up and we use them as we need them. And it's just an easy way to then decorate whatever candles you're making. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial using our Kerasoy 4120 for molds, making our uh, fruit using a different technique to color them so you get that three-dimensional color where then not one of them is exactly the same. So I hope you like this video. Please like it, share it out to your friends, comment, send me a comment if you've got any questions and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos. Thanks very much. Bye.